What is up everybody, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed and in today's video we are gonna be talking about a customer that refused to pay us and uh, we're gonna be reading through the message exchanges with her as well as popping up some screenshots and I'm gonna show you guys kinda of how we navigated this. I think there's a lot of good lessons that we could learn on both sides here, my side and the customer side and uh, how you can deal with this in the future. This is a situation that we had never encountered before so hopefully you guys can learn something from this. I'm not gonna use the footage from the actual job because I don't wanna out the person who tried not to pay us so I'm gonna be using Using some footage from an older job that we've done uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into this so first and foremost this this customer came through on a Facebook advertisement now I do want to say we are offering a hundred dollars off any course on the resource page right now uh, Mike was supposed to take the offer down a day ago I think he forgot so check it out I'll leave a link and a coupon code first link in the comment section and the description if you guys are interested in there you can get my Facebook ad strategy like I said hundred dollars off it's a great deal so the customer came through on the ad uh, she has to get a quote for her house in her driveway to which I sent both of those quotes. Uh, she then came back a little while later and asked to also get a quote on the roof to which I sent her a quote. She said she would have to ask her husband. Every time I send quotes of roofs, since it's like a higher quote, I always like to put a before and after picture of a roof that we've recently done. That way she can kind of get a visual on it. But she had said that they were planning on getting the roof replaced anyway, so she wasn't that worried about it. Anyway, she ended up going with just the house wash. That was the agreed upon service, a house wash. So we did the work. Uh, I texted her after the job was done pretty much like we always do. I said, hey, listen, take a look around the house, make sure you're happy. Afterwards, we can settle up on payment. So this is where things started to get rocky. I will let you guys know she's not very good at typing, so uh, her texts are gonna look crazy. I'm gonna do my best to read them. Uh, so first text to me was, hey, the back deck still have spots in front of it, I would think should be included. And by front door, I thought the concert in front of door would have been done also. So she's referring to a deck that was in the back. Uh, she thought that that was a part of the house wash. She also thought the concrete by the front door was a part of the house wash. And as you guys know, neither one of those are included. I will admit this, um, along the quoting process, maybe we should have done a better job of clarification. However, we did quote her on the concrete. I quoted her to do all of her concrete so that included the concrete in front of her house as well uh, or in front of the front door also we only agreed on a house wash so the house wash does not include back decking it does not include any concrete in front of the front door so i responded with no ma'am we quoted just the house like you asked for that does not include any decking or concrete i also gave you a separate quote for concrete when i sent you the initial estimate she responded i assume the deck is the house so that is there is not that much house to spray without the deck i'm reading this over i haven't read this in like a month this happened a little while ago i just got around to making the video uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense but then i responded with no ma'am house washes include all vertical surfaces and ceilings under patios and porches it does not include concrete or decking that is quoted separately as it is not a part of the house she then responded the deck is a part of the house though i get the concrete but not the deck it's attached to the house so as you guys can kind of see I'm, I'm in a stalemate with her right now we're going back and forth debating on whether or not a deck that is on the back side of the house is considered part of the house after that, I explained to her how long we had been in the business. I'm sorry that there was a confusion. The deck is not a part of the living space of the house, but we would be happy to give her an estimate on the deck uh, the next time that we're in the area. I was trying to reach a resolve here. I was trying to just get to the payment uh, as best as I could. However, she then responded, not paying till deck is done. It's a part of the house. You did not say it was not included. So the ceiling of the deck is, but not the deck. Obviously, we're getting some rebuttals here. I'm not even going to lie. I wasn't sure what to do in this situation. I've never had a customer go back and forth with me this much. I had, I had assumed that she would get the gist of the fact that we've been doing this for a long time. We've quoted hundreds of houses at this point anytime we've quoted a house wash it has not included any back decking or any concrete whatsoever uh, but she wasn't going to let it rest so she said not paying until the deck is done it's a part of the house so then i called mike up i said hey mike what do you think i should do in this situation mike said we could go through this whole legal battle however that would probably cost way more than $450 and this was just a $450 house wash. So he said, why don't you just take off whatever the cost of the deck would be off the house wash and try to sell up with her that way. Kind of meet her halfway uh, because although she might be wrong, maybe we we're wrong, maybe we didn't clarify uh, what the cleaning was specifically as well as we should have. So I came back with the deck would be quoted for $100 
we will take $100 off the house wash price to compensate for the misunderstanding. Because at this point, it's like we have two options. Eat the cost of driving there and back to go clean the deck or we could take off the price of the deck and that's what we tried to do. She said, why can't you just do it please? And and I told her that we were booked out through the weekend, which we were, and I said that we'll try to we'll try to come back out there on Monday. Uh, and I apologize for the inconvenience because at the end of the day, I want her to have a good customer experience. I don't want her to like go out and talk bad about us to all of her friends because she thought the decking was a part of the house wash when it really wasn't. But then she came back and she said that her husband said that he was just gonna wash the deck um, so not to worry about it. And then she wanted to settle up on how she was gonna pay us. This came probably a day or two after that initial conversation had begun so then i sent her my cash app information for her to go ahead and pay us i told her to take a hundred dollars off for the inconvenience of the deck uh and she didn't respond for four days and then i messaged her again and i said hey just following up i wanted to make sure that you got my cash app name she then didn't respond for another three days and at this point i'm like i'm just gonna follow up with her until i get a response uh but then she messaged me three days later and she said yeah she's gonna pay me on monday because her business account got hacked and she said it would be all cleared up on monday so i told her thank you for getting back with me sorry that happened uh that's terrible and i didn't hear from her for another five days which like i said this whole time i'm just thinking we're not getting paid on this like what are the odds that she says no i'm not paying you then her business account gets hacked and then she's like not responding to my messages so you know five days later i text her i said hey just checking in uh did you get your business account back up and then it was like three days later i texted her again i said hey with her name and then she said can you send me a request to my cash app ultimately we got paid but we didn't get paid until probably two two and a half weeks so it was something that i had to continue to press her on so if you guys take anything from this video first and foremost you want to be crystal clear with your communications with the customer the clearer you are uh, the better the customer expectations are set. You don't want somebody thinking that a deck is included. If it's not, we should have done a better job with communicating with the customer saying, hey, would you like us to add this deck in? Uh, but we quoted, we quoted this remotely. We probably should have sent her a text while we were on site asking her if that's what she wanted. Uh, she then told us that she wasn't gonna pay us until we came out and did the deck which we obliged, right? Like we gave her a hundred dollars off. We said, we'll take a hundred dollars off because that's what we had to charge to clean the deck anyway. And then whenever she rebuttaled with, can you please come help? I said, yeah, we'll be out there Monday. And then she said, don't worry about it. My husband's going to take care of it. But it was like a relentless follow-up for about two weeks uh, to ultimately get paid. So anyway, kind of a crazy customer experience. We're going to do everything in our power um, to make it right with the customer right because like i said we took money off the off the price we were going to go out there and fix it um however it might have been our fault might not have been our fault either way do whatever you can to make it right with the customer and to get paid ultimately because that's the goal and we were prepared to eat the cost of this we'll just take the loss on it if we had to but luckily in this case we didn't have to take the loss the other thing is is i'm i could see her on facebook i could see what company she works for she was like the owner of a, of a company so worst case scenario we could always like go to the company but you never wanted to go to that point right you just want people to be good to pay you and so uh this was a miscommunication between ourselves and the customers so the word of the day is going to be communication if you made it this far in the video comment down below communication and i'll hashtag you a real one like i said i'm not sure how long that coupon code is going to be good for so if you want to get a hundred dollars off any course check it out It'll be the first link in the comment section and in the description. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.